Well, good evening, everyone. I have truly missed you. You know, like I told you, I've been, uh, I moved September 1st, so um, I've just been extremely busy. I haven't been able to get to you all like I like to do at least every day or every other day, but I'm here. I'm doing what I can do. Sorry, I, in the video, I saw something. Anyway, today's beverage of the day for the Happy Hour Hump Day Dollar Tree Hall. I drank this this morning. I picked this up on a clearance rack for 50 cents at my grocery store called Shoppers. And this is a coconut drink, Cocoa Pure Premium. It's a natural pineapple flavored drink. It actually has young coconut juice and chewy coconut jelly in it. This is delicious. I'm going to stop by there tomorrow morning to see if they have any more. Um, but this is by a company called OKF. And this is a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle, but I love the taste of the little bit of coconut jelly in it. It's awesome. And when I first grabbed it, I actually thought I was grabbing an aloe vera drink, but this is a coconut drink. Um, so just not paying attention to it, but I saw the little pieces of jelly in it, and I know there are a lot of aloe vera drinks like that. It only has 4% juice. It has 16 grams of sugar. And OKF is out of, it's a product of Korea. So, yeah, but this is good. This is really delicious. My son tried some, and he likes it. I liked it as well. So, you know, happy hour is a state of mind. It doesn't have to be an alcoholic beverage all the time. And I actually would love to have a little alcohol right now because i just been so busy with the move. I need to relax. But when I do, like, even drink wine, it dehydrates me. So I need hydration. I needed that coconut juice. I've got a lot to show you, so let me get started. I picked up these Uts corn chips. This is a repurchase, the barbecue flavor, and I'm trying not to really talk about repurchases because I've been finding a lot at the Dollar Tree, but I mentioned these today because I really love this Utz brand. They are a sweet barbecue flavor. Um, this package is a four ounce bag, and if you like barbecue corn chips, if you've ever tried the Wise barbecue corn chips, those are a spicy corn chip. So I prefer the Utz, which is a sweet barbecue flavor. Those are gone. So I found this emoji cup, which I really like. I think I saw My World and OKC haul this. I think that was her. Um, but it was ironic. The day she hauled it is the same day I picked it up. So it was that Deborah Scott. And hey, you all, check out Deborah A. Scott. Um, she likes to put um, on her videos good money stored. But she's doing Dollar Tree's haul. She's brand new. And she's a sweet lady. She sent me this beautiful friend mail card. I put it on Instagram. But I will show you all eventually on YouTube. But love this little plastic tumbler. That is emoji. This comes with a straw. Um, and so I'm going to replace my purple one I have like this with this one. You get something, you got to put something. You know, I got to put something out. Um, I got to give something away or whatever. I picked up also this emoji cup, just a plastic cup. These are pretty big size. I would say this is like about a 20 ounce cup, I think. But you got every emoji on there you could think of. Mr. Poop, the devil, you got them all. Okay, so I did find the Ajax 40 fluid ounces. This is the Ajax Classic Laundry Detergent. It says Max Fragrance, even though it's in Spanish, that's what it says. Um, and so I only picked up one of these. Just like the Fab didn't have that great of a smell to me, this Ajax doesn't have that great of a smell to me as well, but I know, I'm hoping it should do the job. I purchased Ajax from the, uh, the regular grocery store before when it was like $2. I think that might be the regular going price for it in the grocery store. So picking up for a dollar is not bad, just especially to have something um, just, you know, for backup. I did pick up 15 of these dryer sheets of gain. Um, and let's see. Yeah, 15 dryer sheets. They're 6.4 by 9 inches. But I love the way gain smells. And I ran out of dryer sheets, so I have these now. All right. I also picked up a container of this Final Touch, which is 35 fluid ounces. And yes, Phone Jones is right. These are not full. When you even look inside, you're like, where's that? Where did it go? Did it spill out? But the lady at the Dollar Tree told me, what do you expect? It's a dollar. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Um, but it is, it's half full. It's about right here. And it smells good. Like this to me is very comparable to like Downy. This smells really good. So I picked up two of these. This is Spring Fresh, 35 fluid ounces. It's supposed to be a bonus because regularly it's 25 fluid ounces. So it must be about right here when it's 25 ounces. Okay. 
the next item. I found it, y'all. I found the Arizona, but not the watermelon. I did find the Mucho Mango, 64 fluid ounces, because you know they also sell the 45 fluid ounces. And I also found the Fruit Punch. So I am a happy gal because I found the Arizona. I've been wanting to try them. I actually don't ever buy Arizona drinks, whether it's in a smaller size or not. But for like 64 fluid ounces, you're like, you got to pick it up, right? Um, let's see how much sugar. 26 grams of sugar. It's only 5% juice. Water this down. Taste it how it is if you've never tasted it before, but then water it down. At least for the kitties. Okay, so y'all, I was really surprised to find this albacore tuna. I have not seen anybody else haul this, even though maybe you have. But it's, it says, Van Camps Buy Chicken of the Sea. So, do you see that? Van Camps Buy Chicken of the Sea. And it's Chunk White Albacore Tuna. Albacore, not Chunk Light, Albacore. I picked up five of these. I had to hold back and not get all 15. Because I just, I love albacore tuna. And it's in water. But albacore is the thicker, nicer tuna. I picked up five. I, like I said, I had to hold back. Because I don't know how it tastes. But chicken of the sea is on it. So, you know, it should be pretty decent. I also picked up some of this Butterfield Farms white chicken. And I'm sorry, let me give you the can on that. Um, baby, five ounce. I was going to call my son over. Five ounces of the albacore tuna. You should not be doing cartwheels in the living room. And... Butterfield Farms White Chicken. This is five ounces of the premium chunk in water. And I picked this up because I saw No Guts, No Glory make this delicious pizza. Um, I would say the Mr. I can't remember what his first name is, but the Mr. in terms of No Guts, No Glory. I think he called himself Mr. No Guts, No Glory. He made this pizza, put some of this canned chicken on it, and it just got me to thinking, like, yeah, why don't you use the canned chicken more often and stuff? I only, like, will use this for chicken salad um, or making, like, a, a barbecue chicken sandwich, whatever. But that was a great idea. So thank you, Mr. No Guts, No Glory. Okay, so this auto cell phone holder, I picked this up. Um, I thought this was a great idea. I do have one that sticks in my car, but sometimes if I like to just have it over to the left vent, I think I can use this as well. I have different places I could put it because the holder I have is sitting in the middle of my car. So pick this up. This is by E-Circuit. E-Circuit products are usually really good. Um, let's see what else before I get to the e.l.f. products. I'm not talking about some of this candy. So I did pick up these Haribo Ghostly Gummies Gummy Candy. And this is a four ounce container. And it's look, it says um, kids and grown-ups love it so the happy world of Haribo. And look at those little skeletons and the pumpkins. So we will try those eventually. And I had to grab these Mike and Ike Mega Mix. They're 10 flavors. And this is a five ounce container. But check this out. Look at all those flavors. Caribbean Punch. Look, let me read these properly. Caribbean Punch, Strawberry Banana, Paradise Punch, Grape Soda, Blue Raspberry, Peach Berry, Pineapple Banana, Watermelon, Mango Delight, and Kiwi Banana. This is a Caribbean little mix right here. Can't wait to try it. I was happy, happy to find these because I do like So Natural, but I've always loved Fruit Crisp. Like, this to me is, I call it old school, because my mom used to buy Fruit Crisp for me. Um, so I love these. These are delicious. Or well, I was I buying these for my daughter, because she's 19. So it was one or the other. Um, but these little packages here are only 3 fourth cups, so 0.52 ounce, but delicious. Food, dried Fuji apples, and Fuji is my favorite apple. And then this one are the dry strawberries. My boys wanted to try these yesterday, and I would not let them because I wanted to save these to show you all. Um, but I've already tried one of these. I bought two bags of these, and these are good. All right, so moving on, I also picked up one of these manicure sets. And I think it is my world in OKC. She was like, don't it look like a little toilet? And it does look like it's the shape of a toilet seat cover. But these are a manicure set, and you can see kind of really closely there. It shows you everything that's in there. The, you know, scissors, the clippers. And so this is cute. I thought it'd be nice for a giveaway. This is the design I like the most. One of my YouTube viewers wants a dino headband for their grandsons. I only had found one and I found another. The store in Laurel, I think, has a lot. I think that was where I was. They have a lot. So I picked up another one of these. I might be mistaken, but it was some store here in Maryland. I really love these cards. 
check these out. Now, you know, voila, always makes good cards. Um, I hope I'm saying that right, but love these cards. This is actually the way the card is. Upside down bat that says spooky greetings. So cute. And then the inside says, go scare up some fun and candy. Happy Halloween. I missed out. I was a bad sister. I didn't send my sister a birthday card. So I'm going to send her a Halloween card. Um, but if you're watching him, you know, and happy belated birthday. Um, happy pumpkin day. I'm horrible with birthdays, y'all. I know you're like, that's your sister. How dare you? I'm horrible with birthdays. I was only a day late when I texted her, though. Um, happy pumpkin day. And it says, hope your Halloween is filled with never-ending smiles. My, my friends always say that about me. You are horrible with birthdays, girl. And then I feel all bad when my birthday comes. And I'm like, nobody called me. Um, here we go. These cute little tote bags. These are candy tote bags. Look at that. Ja uh, I said jack-o'-lantern. Candy corn that has a bite taken out of it. And then look at that cute little face. So my two of my boys will have bags. I know we still have other um, Halloween bags. So everybody will be covered. Okay, so I was really happy to finally find these glasses because these sugar schools are so nice. I love this and like on t-shirts and stuff. But I found these wine glasses that I will definitely be drinking out of probably before Halloween. So I got these two. And they are by the company Chris Tar. I can't read the bottom of these, so I can't tell you the actual weight ounce. I have to dim the lights in here to be able for you all to see what I'm showing. But this also the pink one as well. So the pink, the white and the blue and then and I was not going to get them of course I saw phone Jones haul the black and the purple but the purple every time I kept going to the Dollar Tree was just calling my name so I had to get the purple little candles um, these are it says Dia de los Muertos and they are by Eternalux and how big are these I can't read it again myself but these long candles so these will be put out for Halloween um, moving along I picked up one of these cabinet shelves by essentials I think that I'll probably try to put my little fox and um, hedgehog mugs you know on these somewhere up high I don't have that much cabinet space but that's what I'm also trying to get rid of and last but not least I did pick up some elf products so the cover everything concealer and medium Okay, the Shimmer Lip Gloss, and that is in Inspire. Hopefully you can see that color. I'm going to have to do something about this lighting. I'm not sure what to do. The Elf Matte Lip Color in Mulberry Maven, and it does come with a sharpener included. Then the Hyper Shine Lip Gloss, and oh, that comes in the color Joy. And I was so surprised like that I don't already have everything. I was too surprised to find this because I love this dark color. I don't know how to look on me. But this lip lacquer in burgundy. Y'all, I am mad because I don't think y'all can see these colors that well. But it's a lip lacquer in burgundy. And then this e.l.f. Um, it says Party Purple. And there that is. Those different colors. So... That is my Dollar Tree haul, you all. Did I get everything? Last item. Oh, I have so much more. I'm going to have to do two videos this evening. Or maybe I'll save some for tomorrow. But I picked up my good old trusty Washington Post. You know that paper is usually $3.50. And I picked it up for a dollar. Yeah, I'm going to have to save um, a video for tomorrow. But just letting you know, I racked up on some more Kiss Lashes more kiss lashes they they're getting them in i think maybe some of the ones that um i hauled previously but you didn't see um i got on this go round. like you might have seen them on somebody else's video so everybody thank you for tuning into this happy hour hump day dollar tree haul i'm exhausted but um i'm really happy we move um you know so happy about where we are Thank you so much again. I hope you had a great Wednesday on purpose. And I'll see you tomorrow for this last bag of goodies that I couldn't get to show you. But here goes a little sneak peek. All right, I'll show you tomorrow. Bye.